Welcome to season 12 of the Parenting Aces podcast, a proud member of the Tennis Channel Podcast Network. I'm your host, Lisa Stone, and this week we are talking tennis bags and specifically the ADV tennis bag, which is a new offering from my friend Lavi Sack, who has been on the podcast before to talk about other products that he and his team have developed, but I'm excited for you guys to see and hear about this new bag. If you are listening to this episode as opposed to watching the video version, I highly urge urge you to check out the video so that you can see the actual bag. Lobby points out some of the different features and um, you can just kind of get a feel for what it's all about. So I hope you enjoyed this conversation with Lobby and that you will take some action and help support this growing business. Before I bring him on, Quick reminder, if you haven't already, we'd love for you to become a premium member of Parenting Aces. Just go to parentingaces.com and click on the join button. Easy peasy, and you'll have full access to all of our content, past, present, and future. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy my conversation with Lavi Sack. Welcome back, Lavi. It's great to see you again. I'm so excited for you to share the latest and greatest that's happening with ADV. Oh, thank you. I am super pumped to be back. Yeah, yeah. You, you've got a lot going on. Um, you were with, a, I, I can't even remember the last time. I feel like my COVID brain is just still, like time is this warped thing in my, in my mind now. Yeah. But um, the last time you came on, you were kind of just getting started and, and you talked to us about kind of the origin story behind your company and and the philanthropic aspects of what you're doing and shared your your video with us which which we shared with our audience as well but you've kind of evolved since then and I'd love for you to talk to the parenting aces audience about what's happening now with ADV what recent developments have happened and why we should be interested in learning more about this fabulous new company yeah. So it, it, it all started, like I mentioned before, with the, the humble tennis dampener. Um, and it was just like a, a side project that I did. And I sold a bunch of them on Amazon and started fueling the company. So I made grips, wristbands, um, fitness kits, you name it, right? Smaller, smaller tennis gear. Um, so I wanted to create something really, really different, really cool, something that solved my own problems. Um, the biggest problem I had was while I was living in Atlanta, I would bike off in the belt, like the belt line and go down to the tennis courts and my bag would hit my head. Just about fail every time I had to <laughs> hold it some weird way. And I was like, you know what? We had some funds from for the company for R and D. Let's make a bag. Let's make, let's make, let's make the best test bag. Um, I mean, I coached for eight years. I played for a good amount. So I can really I kind of resonate, like, you know, resonate with the, what people are feeling, but I really want to ask the coaches and the players what they wanted. Um, so roughly, I want to say 70 ish interviews of coaches and parents. Oh, wow. Uh, coaches, players and, and player parents um, about what makes a good tennis bag. We developed the, the Jetpack Pro um, and we launched that last year and it sold out in roughly four months, um, oh my gosh. which is great. Um, so then we're like, awesome, let's do it again and let's do it bigger. Um, so we decided to not only have a second version of the pro bag, which is the big six racket bag, six mm -hmm. racket bag here, but also to create a new backpack, which is, this is brand new. Um, so we wanted to make now two bags and really make a big splash. Um, and, and yeah. I'm happy to go through the features in a bit, but we we launched it on Kickstarter. Um, and for those who may not know, Kickstarter is a crowdfunding platform that helps small companies like mine raise raise capital, essentially, because these bags cost a lot of money to make, and we we need to have the capital to make bigger bigger production runs. And Kickstarter really helps us to do that. So uh -huh. that's kind of where we're at. Um, so yeah. Well, it's so funny. I, I People that have listened to the podcast know that I'm a big Shark Tank fan. And um, one of the things that I learned watching Shark Tank is, you know, when you're making a product, 
it's really expensive to make a product in small quantities. But if you can get the funds together to do a big run, like you're saying, all of a sudden your costs come down exponentially. And so Kickstarter is really such a cool platform for somebody like you to utilize so that you can bring the cost of production down, hopefully bring the cost of the product down and, you know, have some money left over to pay yourself, which, you know, we all need to do at the end of the day. Um, how has Kickstarter worked for you? Is it, has it been a good, a good place to launch your product? Yeah. So just a little more context on Kickstarter. It's a, it allows people to help a small company by buying the product on pre-order at a very discounted price. So the bags retail for 250 and 200 and on Kickstarter, they're 175 and 140. Mm. So it's a big discount. So as much as it helps us to get the funds earlier to do the big runs, we want to make sure that the people who buy it also get a, you know, a perk for doing it. Um, so our goal initially was only, it was only five grand on the, for the 30 day campaign We're we're on day 16 now, and we're at 125,000. So that's wow. great. Um, and we actually had a huge launch. We made 50, 50 grand in the first day for the first 26 hours or so. Um, what do you attribute that to? So we, a lot of people really love the brand and they bought the bag and they, they really wanted the next bag and they shared, um, so the first, you know, the first two or three, two or three days, the big days were all pretty much organic and people were just talking about it. Um, so that, that guy was really excited. Um, the later days we, we had ads and things on, on Instagram and Facebook, um, to get the word out, but, but yeah, joining podcasts like this, we hope they get the word out too. So yeah, so yeah. for sure. All right. Well, so tell us about the bag. Why yeah. did you decide to do a second iteration and what improvements did you make? So I'm a, I'm a tech guy. Um, so I always want to treat hardware or hard goods like software. Um, so every, every time we make new bags, we make them better. So this, this first bag is the Jetpack Pro. This is the V2. Um, we made some, some pretty cool updates to it. Um, so on V1, we talked to maybe another 20 or so people interview them, mm-hmm. why they liked the bag and what things it would change. Some of the major things they were looking for, they they want the straps to be worn on either side, this side or this side. The old version, you can only do it this side. Um, mm-hmm. The thinking we had was that if you wear it on this side, your head won't bump into it if you're biking on this side. But then people were like, I like this side, so I don't have to. I don't have to show off the blacks. This black blank slide, I can show off this cool front side. So then we switched it. And actually, I do like this side when walking. I switch to this when I'm biking. Um, so it's a cool feature. And then another small thing, but it just kind of shows the detail. This is a big side compartment here, mm-hmm. and this fits like uh, Manila folders, clipboards, and stuff. Um, what I learned was in the first version. We made this part tight where a piece of paper or a manila folder would not fit. We would have to fold it. And a couple of coaches were like, this would be fantastic if you could actually make this fit a piece of paper. Mm-hmm. So we updated it and made it fit a piece of paper yeah. so that you could put a clipboard or a manila folder in there. Um, but aside from that, some really cool things that people love. Um, it can hang. So mm-hmm. you got these little hooks hanging on a fence. Boom. And then say you're at a changeover and you need an ice cold drink, pop this open. You have a cooler here. You fit uh, a six, a cooler pack, ice pack in about three to four waters, um, two big Gatorades, banana, et cetera. Love it. And then the other side, we have a shoe compartment, which we call now a shoe and sweat compartment. Okay. So I sweat a lot, um, especially in Atlanta. Yeah. So, <laughs> there's actually two compartments here this bottom part fits up to size 13 shoes to a, a pair in here mm-hmm. and then above it you have a shelf that you can put your stinky sweaty clothes if you're changing and then it keeps it separated so all that sweat doesn't go in your shoe and then if you zip yeah. it back up you have a little ventilation pocket here to air it out that's awesome air the gunk out um but yeah 
the the cool thing about this bag is I can promise you that when you touch it, it feels different. It's not like a normal bag. Mm -hmm. It has a it has a more of a um, it's called a cord of nylon, which is kind of it, it reminds me of like a Patagonia type jacket. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is a pro bag. There's a bunch of other little features that I might not go through here, but definitely you could probably share a link or something and check it out if you like it too. Um, yeah. Let me just ask you, is the bag water resistant? So if it starts raining during your match, is everything protected inside? So it's 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 not weatherproof. It's we call it weather weather resistant. Mm -hmm. So um we put a polyurethane coating on this. So if you put water in it, it will bead. Okay. But if I throw this into a lake, um yeah. probably not gonna withstand that water. But in a, in a rain shower, your your gear will be protected. Got it. Good question. Yeah. Um, and hey, then, it's yeah. been raining a lot in Southern California this year, so <laughs> it's a top of mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's interesting because we have the backpack version too. Um, and one of the things that I I really thought about was covering handles. Like it's a weird thing. Like we did a survey and almost 50-50 people were like, if you I would never buy a tennis bag unless you cover my handles. And the other half were like, I will never, why would I take the time to cover my handles? They get dirty. What do you mean cover your hand? I don't understand what that means. So if I put, uh, I wish I had a racket here. Let me see if I Of course, I have 12 brackets upstairs and nothing here. Anyway. That's okay. Um, <laughs> you can take your rackets and, and stick them into here. Oh, cover the handles of your here. rackets. Got yeah, it, got it, got it, got it. That. Okay. So you put them in here, we have a hidden cape. So you can protect the handles if you like, or you can just stick them in here. And then you have like a little latch system here where you can clip them together to protect them from moving around. So- oh my gosh, kind of that's so cultural. clever. <laughs> I you. love that. Um, but yeah, this is the backpack. Um, and I use it every day and not just for tennis, but just going to the office and just biking, et cetera. But, it has the DNA of the, the bigger bag in a smaller form. Um, you have a cool cooler here, same concept, but smaller. Um, you have these utility loops. Um, I had I had a couple Ulta badges or bag tags I could put in here. So I can cool. put those in there. Um, the hook. And then laptop pockets, the same shoe sweat compartments here. And then another quick access pot in here for just all this type of computer gear you may have. Um, and the cool feature is I'm using it on, on trips. I actually took it to Indian Wells with me as my like three to three, three night stay bag. You can take it and take this thing and open it all the way. So you can have like a really easy packing of it. So open up the whole time, the whole wow. way. Um, but yeah, I think it's really great for, for kids. Um, although we didn't design it exactly for like a student, a lot of parents and a lot of coaches have reached out to me and said that this works really well for their their kids because it's it holds their books, computer, shoes, tennis rackets, and snacks and things like that. So, yeah, I love that, and and I want to just reiterate what you just said that you took the backpack on the plane with you. You didn't have to check it; it fits in the overhead bin. The big bag may or may not fit in the overhead bin depending on the size plane you're on, right? So I, I I went from I'm from Northern Virginia right now and I flew into Salt Lake City and then into Palm Springs for any Wells. Um, the flight from IAD to Salt Lake City had a big plane. Mm -hmm. um, no issues. I carried this in my bag and this on my shoulder. No one said anything. Put them up there comfortably. No issues. And I was like, oh, I might not get away with this on my next leg from Salt Lake City to Palm Springs. The the plane was definitely smaller. Yeah. Um, but it fit. I had uh, I had three rackets with me, and yeah, I just it, and no one said anything because okay. it's kind of. I think I, I can't say it's it's compliant with TSA, mm -hmm. but I've now rode or done three trips and I've never had any issues of it. So, and that's a you know it's a question that comes up quite often when families are traveling for tennis tournaments or just going on vacation and their kid wants to take their tennis gear with them so that they can play for fun or train or go to a camp or whatever um nobody wants to check their tennis rackets they want to be able yeah. to take them on the plane because yeah. who trusts baggage handlers with their 
precious gear. And yeah. um, it's nice to know that these bags will fit in the overhead compartment. And, you know, if you want to be extra special safe, get the backpack because for sure that's going to fit. Nobody's going to say a word to you. And you've got all your stuff right there with you. I love that you can slip a laptop in there. The textbooks can go in there. Um, you know, your notebooks, whatever you need for keeping up with schoolwork. This is just, it's a great option for junior players that are looking to keep their bags organized, keep all their stuff in one place. And, you know, maybe it's not the bag that you, you know, if the backpack may not be the bag that you take to a tournament, but for sure, for day-to-day -day training, if you're going straight from school to the courts or vice versa, what a great way to keep all your stuff in one place. Yeah. Yeah. So if people want to learn more about the bags, want to get involved with your Kickstarter campaign, tell us the details of how that works. Yeah. Um, so we we have a Kickstarter um, and that Kickstarter highlights pretty much everything. It's a giant scrollable list of information. Um, but I think the, the best way and the quickest way to get like all the information is through the video we made. Um, super fun. We, we actually filmed it in Atlanta. Um, back at the academy, shout out to Universal Tennis Academy where I used to, to coach. Um, they graciously let, let us use their courts and some of their ex players, um, some of which are on tour now, um, are, are in the video. There's a lot of tweeners and slams and things like that. So it's fun, fun. to watch. Um, I mean, we'll it, have a link to that in the show notes on parentingaces.com yeah. too. So y'all be sure to check that out. Yeah. So check that out. It is all information. Of course, if there's any questions, um, you can reach out to me via my email. And I'm sure you can find that in the description too. Um, so yeah, lots of information out there about it. I, we've had, we have about five influencers do some reviews. So if you've heard of like Tennis Nerd, um, mm -hmm. Tennis Tribe, uh, Tennis Spin, they've done a bunch of reviews also. So Fantastic. And so what's next on the horizon? Um, you said, you know, you treat this like software, so you want to keep making <laughs> improvements. What's next for you guys? Yeah. Um, so everyone's been asking for a kind of a, a blackout or like a midnight version of the bag. So they want they want a version where it's just all black, like mm -hmm. the zippers are black, everything. So it's just one. So that, that may be something to play around with, just colors. And then I've also heard that people want a very light version of it um, with like a lot, a lot of lighter colors and things like that. So we'll play around with the colors. Um, there's always stuff to improve. It is mm -hmm. always. Um, so we're going to make every time we do another production, are we going to make it better? Um, we're going to look at designing packing cubes to help with with packing when you go on trips. I would love that. Typically. Yeah. Um, so, if you know, you can put your clothes in one cube, you can put your other like pull in another cube, and just boop, boop, and you're good to go. Yeah. Um, and then another thing that I, I thought was really cool that I want to look into is. It's like a washable throw mesh bag. It's like a little bag that mm -hmm. gets sweaty clothes. You can take it off, put it in there, and just take that, stick it into your bag, take it out, and just dump it into your washer and wash everything. Mm -hmm. um, so we really do look at the problems that that coaches, players, pants of players have, and we want to make it better because that's why well, put products that are not gonna be better, you know, it costs right. the end. So well, and if you have any thoughts or recommendations, you know, please feel, feel free to share. Because a lot of these ideas didn't come from me. They came from the from people who wanted them. So. so getting back to your Kickstarter, is there a minimum investment that people have to make? Um, or can people just, you know, make a donation without having to actually purchase the bag? Yeah. So the way it works is you can you can do a pledge. Of, if you pledge 140, you get the backpack. Um, 125 to get the pro bag, but you can pledge as much as you want. So if you pledge just ten dollars or like five dollars, um, just to show some support, that really helps us too for sure. Um, and you're welcome to do that. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of other options too. If you, we also have an option if you buy bulk. You have mm -hmm. we have a couple clubs and academies who bought bulk versions or bulk bags, so a bigger discounts. And they, I think their plan is to put their brand on it. Um, I don't like that. And I, I have no quarrels about people branding this bag because, as you can see, we made the branding very light. Like mm -hmm. this is it on here, and then here. 
um, we made this whole area wide open. Um, Smart. I mean, the, one of the things I, I didn't like, it was kind of my personal preference, but a lot of people have mentioned it. I, I love a lot of tense brands, but sometimes their brand is really big. Yeah. When I wear a bag, just really big. And I didn't, I didn't, I didn't like that. So I didn't want to push that. So the one of the principles is subtle is not subtle can be, can be very good. Also. Yeah. 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 I like that. Um, so when are you delivering the bags from this current Kickstarter campaign? Yeah. Um, so for folks familiar with Kickstarter, usually the way it works is you get the funds and then you per go to production and then you ship and that could take anywhere from three to six, nine months. Mm -hmm. and sometimes they can be even longer. Um, we are a little bit unique because this is our second time doing it. We are actually having the bags almost done right now, a big batch of them, and they're going to be shipping in about four to five days. Um, oh, wow. From from Vietnam to our U.S. Um, warehouse, so there's a lot. There's not that much risk compared to a lot of other Kickstarters. And the plan is, if all the shipping goes goes well, um, fingers crossed, that they will be ready in May to ship out. Oh, I love that! All right, so just in time for summer season, and uh, yeah, yeah, that's fantastic. I mean, I'm just thinking, you know, you you take one of your bags. Kid goes to tennis camp where they're playing tennis part of the day. They're maybe swimming part of the day. They're, you know, kicking around a soccer ball part of the day, going to a movie, whatever. How awesome to be able to keep all of that stuff together in your one bag that you leave your dorm room or your cabin or wherever you are that morning. And you've got your whole day's worth of clothes and shoes with you. You've got your snacks. Um won't have need school work during the summer hopefully but um you know your notebook to keep notes after your practice and yeah it's fantastic yeah yeah it was it was fun to make for sure um and just having different tests and things like that for people um there's a lot of little little tidbits that that people don't know right away but I know a cool one is um, and this is a personal pain point of mine. And selfishly, I made a lot of these features for myself. Um, As you should. <laughs> going to the airport, I just hate having to dig for my ID. Mm -hmm. um, so both bags have a little hidden slot in the sleeve right here. So we can oh. open and put your ID and then seal it with this little, um, it's hard to see here, but yeah. Um, you can put it there. And then as you walk, you can just pull it out anytime you want. Um, and it stays pretty secure in there. So I love that. And, you know, I like that you have a carry handle on the top in addition to having the straps, because yeah. a lot of times you just are, you just need to grab it by the top and yeah. go. Yeah. You don't want to deal with putting it on, um, you know, carrying it over your shoulder. So that's a nice added feature too, that a lot of bags, interestingly, don't have that. Yeah. 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 Um, so. Are you and, guys going to be bundling some of your product too? So like the dampeners, the grips, all the other things that you've produced, um, yeah. will be people be able to buy like a fully loaded bag? That's a good question. So actually we do do a bundle on Kickstarter, like a, a, a regular bundle with the two bags. So the two bags, instead of 450, they're 300. Mm -hmm. um, it's a pretty good deal. But yeah, like you said, we have a, a bunch of other products. And we're still trying to figure out the logistics of this, but if you do back us or pledge on Kickstarter, um, you'll get a survey at the end of the campaign, which ends um, on April 4th, 15th, I believe. Okay. Um, you'll get a survey that says, hey, do you want to get any other gear? And since you backed on Kickstarter, that will be heavily discounted. Um, oh, nice. So you have an opportunity to get um, dampeners, wristbands. People love the wristbands. I'm like, I'm, I'm super happy about that because I mean, it's, I love bamboo charcoal material because I think it makes my sweat not smell. My wife likes it too. Um, <laughs> so we have that as a domain material, but it was actually built from a um, physical therapy kind of wristband for mm -hmm. people who have weak wrists. Mm -hmm. um, so we built design off of that, made it more Tennessee, um, added some branding. And, and yeah, it, people really liked it because it's a lot thinner than normal plush wristbands. So. Got it. 
Very cool. Very cool. All right. Um, tell us the website for the Kickstarter and for the company. And again, we will have those links uh, in the show notes. So be sure and check those out on parentingaces.com. But go ahead, Lobby. Yeah. So our website is www.advtennis.pro. Like a, like a tennis pro. Okay. Um, and then when you get, go there, it has all the links to the Kickstarter. Um, the link to the Kickstarter is just kickstarter.com. And you can search ADV Tennis there. And you'll see it. It's like a giant hero image of all four bags under the lights. Kind of cool. Um, so but, if anything, check out the video. It's a fun, it's a fun watch. It's it is a fun watch. I, I will attest to that. It is a very fun watch. Um, anything else we need to know? Um, like like I said before, that we we do still donate 5% um to Tens Cambodia. We have the two things we're trying to do now are donate because we want to donate specifically to specific things, not just hand out cash. Um, but buying shoes for a province in Cambodia that my, my dad was born in, at mm -hmm. Bantam as a, as a tennis academy there. Um, so buying shoes for all the kids there um, is one thing. We're also looking at donating funds and kind of tennis knowledge to build a book, a children's book in um, Cambodia. I, my friend runs a tennis school there. So having a book about tennis made so they, they you know they're aware of it, but it's also an educational book too. So, mm -hmm. yeah, tennis is still kind of a new sport for Cambodia, right? It's not. I mean, it's growing in popularity, but we're not seeing. You know, if you look on the pro tours, you're not seeing a lot of players from Cambodia yet. But you're hoping to change that. Yeah, I mean, it starts grassroots like anything. Um, they they were pretty good pre you know pre war. When that happened, it, is, it definitely resets, presses the reset button, but different countries with Cambodian parents to play for Davis Cup, um, which is great. But they're also trying to really bring coaches in to mm -hmm. develop players. And, you know, we actually, we sponsored one. We helped pay for his, um, his uh, all his travels to Malaysia and to Vietnam and things. But he's, he's probably, he's pretty promising. Only problem is it's just it's just very tough because this some there's not the best competition there yet. Um, but yeah, the goal is you know like what um, what Peridor and Shishapan did for Thailand. Um, he single handedly brought that brought the country you know a lot of kind of tennis recognition. And I think there's just it takes like one player away. I like to say so. I love it. I love it. Well, thanks for coming back on, talking about your latest developments. You're invited back anytime. Uh, you have an open invitation here at Parenting Aces. And I hope that our community can help support your efforts to support tennis growing in Cambodia. And wouldn't it be amazing if we started seeing some like top players coming out of that country? And, you yeah. know, it starts with the juniors and moves on up to the pro ranks and yeah, I think that would be so fabulous. And I love that you have that initiative tied to a company that's developing great products for players. Yeah. Thank you for having me. And I, I always enjoy talking to you, Lisa. So appreciate it. Thank you so much. Absolutely. To my listeners, thank you so much for tuning in. We will catch you next time on Parenting Aces.